This is the actual protein supplement. They're huge. They're, they're quite tricky to swallow. I think the most I've managed to do in one go is four. Um, any more than that, they come out my nose. For a small number of people, taking 80 pills a day is their reality, replacing everyday foods they can't eat. Normal food is severely restricted. So basically, in a, a child can have in a day like half a pancake of potato, tiny few porridge oats and a few peas. That, that would, would be, be it. it. That would be absolutely it as far as normal protein was concerned. Well, I, I, I could... Louise Morehouse has a lifelong condition called phenylketonuria, or PKU, that means she can't digest an amino acid called phenylalanine found in protein. She risks brain damage if she eats too much. That's the first time I've ever been into a cafe where they haven't caused a fuss. Um, he used my own milk to make the latte. He did explain it looked a bit strange, and it does. Eating is a challenging experience for Louise. We're extremely limited in everything um, that we can buy off the shelves. It's a very, very rare occasion where it will take me less than an hour and a half just to do a normal shop. It's hard to imagine what it must be like to have to swallow 80 pills a day to have vast swathes of food most of us take for granted off limits. If only, you may wonder, there was a pill to make all of this go away. In fact, there is. But Bayer Marin, the US drug company that markets it, is charging £70,000 a year, and it's more than the NHS thinks it's worth. Biomarin, a leading developer of innovative biopharmaceutical therapies, has developed Kuvan. The first and only drugs developed for people with rare conditions are known as orphan drugs. Because they help a small number of people, few had ever been developed. Then in 2000, the European Commission introduced incentives and ruled that anyone who developed an orphan drug could enjoy up to 12 years of market exclusivity. And it's also got a this is from one US TV program for investors. I'm a big fan of these orphan drugs, in part because they always command very high prices. That's really the only way companies will bother spending the money to develop cures for diseases that only affect small groups of people. By its very nature, this is a business that doesn't have a lot of competition. Biomarin has developed Kuvan, the only available prescription medication for PKU that targets the underlying deficit of the disorder. It's often argued that drug companies need to recoup money spent developing vital drugs. But Biomarin did not stop Kuvan from scratch. In fact, a similar compound was developed by a laboratory in Switzerland 40 years ago. It was then researched and used on license as a treatment for PKU by many doctors. Biomarin bought these data in 2004. And do you think the, the, the costs that they are charging are, is, are excessive? Well, of course. Of course they are. This isn't a drug that Biomarin developed, though they uh, produce it now. And I think that we really need to see some real serious movement from them so that we can make the drug available. Critics say the high price of orphan drugs across the board does not always reflect the amount of effort companies have had to make to generate new drugs. We did one piece of work um, where we identified that 40% of orphan drugs are actually repurposed. That is, they've been previously used for other purposes before they were then granted orphan um, status. Pleas for Bayer Marin to lower the price have fallen on deaf ears. For Louise Morehouse, the current situation is doubly painful. She has seen the promised land. For three years, she was a guinea pig for Bayer Marin, taking Kuvan as part of a trial. I took part in the trial because I just thought, well, if this works, it's, it's just going to change lives. And basically, foods, what the Kuvan allowed me to do was to eat a normal diet, a completely normal diet. Um, and and it, was, it was almost like someone had opened curtains on my life. Normally, their <laughs> coffees are very, very nice, but I have to have them black, so I've just ruined it by putting that in. But when the trial ended over 10 years ago, Bimarin stopped providing Louise with the drug. This is despite global medical ethics agreements saying when a clinical trial is finished, a participant should be able to keep taking a drug if it's beneficial. Louise is not the only one. Newsnight knows of seven other trial patients not on Kuvan. When we asked by Marin what was going on, they said any ex-trial patients should apply for treatment. For Louise, there's hope. Um, and they have said effectively that... When we told her what Biomarin had said, this was her response. You should have it. 
I don't know what to say. That's just crazy. Um, wow. Um, did, well, sorry. No. <sighs> Lots of things would be very, very different for me right now if I'd have been able to continue with that drug because, as I said before, I felt like I was me and that I was doing everything to my full potential. And having it taken away, it makes it more obvious. And I'm just angry that it's been a decade and I've, I've not done everything that I wanted to do. And I feel like there's been times where the, those tablets would have made a massive difference to me and my family. And it's great that they've recognised this, but there's 10 years of not not being who I'm supposed to be. The company's taken this step and it's a step in the right direction to recognise the fact that we should have had it, but um, maybe they can take another step and look at the pricing so that everyone who can respond will get it. Biomarin told us that recent discussions between NHS England and Biomarin were unsuccessful due to the high discount level required by the NHS. This was in the range of 80%. In a statement they said, Biomarin is disappointed that the NHS England has not recognised the value of treating PKU patients with Kuban, despite more than a decade of positive patient outcomes across 26 countries in Europe, Russia and Turkey. An NHS England spokesperson said, The NHS does not offer a blank cheque to pharmaceutical companies. Instead, the NHS works hard to strike deals which give people access to the most clinically effective and innovative medicines and at a price which is fair and affordable, which is exactly what our patients and the country's taxpayers would expect us to do. What do we want? When do we want it? Now! What do we want? The unavailability of orphan drugs on the NHS is generating protest. Newsnight has learned the European Commission is reviewing the incentives scheme. The health service faces a dilemma. Are these drugs worth paying more for than those that treat other illnesses? And which services should you cut to fund them instead?